and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Selesnia Monsters is our second deck here on Rotation Proof Monday today. So what this is, is we're playing decks here on the last couple Mondays and each Monday until Rotation, which is in about five weeks, uh, completely comprised of cards that are not going to be rotating out. And uh, so cards that like so decks that are uh, available to craft if you're trying to craft cards that you don't have to worry about the cards leaving standard. Now there is one exception here, as you can see. There's only one exception that I'm making in the entire format, and that is Llanowar Elf. Llanowar Elf here is a card that is rotating out of standard, but it's just such a good card, and it's such a unique um, card, only costing one mana compared to other mana creatures that cost two. And it's just a common that I that I think it's worth it. I recommend just still crafting them even for five weeks um, if you don't have them for some reason, you know, with them being a common. Uh, it's a card that you'll want, like, for historic formats and everything. It's it's just just get you some Llanowar Elves. If, however, if you really don't want to play Llanowar Elf, you know, if you're really dead set on, on the rotation-proof theme, then... Uh, play incubation druid so that's that's what i would be doing is i would have four incubation druids in this deck uh to you know to go along with these other two drops um where incubation druid is also a, a pretty good mana sink and can get you some extra mana for beast whisperer it can do some good things um it's it's not a bad card but i like land Elf more here um so that's that's the option if you want to change it what's up hawkeye hawkeye's like no don't take the land of elf out i like my land of elves but anyway, um, the rest of the deck, though, and the rest of every every other deck that I make is is 100% rotation proof, except for Lanwar Elf will is the only exception. And no, I don't think they're going to be reprinted. Um, but you know, even mana base wise, like we're we're not playing the other rare dual lands or anything else. So we're we're going with some kind of budget mana bases and everything too. Okay. Anyway. What our deck's going on, besides that, what the deck's doing over here is we are a completely creature deck here in the main deck. Now, sideboard, we'll have some, we have some spells over here in the sideboard, but main deck, we are completely all creatures. And so the reason for that is, is two things. Uh, we have God Eternal Oketra, which each creature that you, that you cast, you make a 4-4 four, four zombie. So we're trying to cast a lot of creatures and make a lot of zombies. And we have Beast Whisper. Every creature we cast, we get to draw a card. So, you know, we are, like, Beast Whisper is our engine. That's that's our engine card. We're trying to ramp into Beast Whisper, ramp into Oketra, and then still cast creatures after these two and draw cards and make more zombies and just overwhelm the opponent with that. We also have Nullhide Ferox, which is a really, really good quality rate as far as a card goes. Four mana, six, six hex proof. Which, of course, they can spend two mana to make them lose that ability. And But then we can't cast non-creature spells. Well... Doesn't matter. We only got creatures. So just got a good rate here with the Nullhide Ferox. Um, as far as removal goes, we have Harpooner for removal for flyers. We have Knight of Autumn, remover, removal for artifacts and enchantments. And also some life gain if we are you know, facing some aggro. We got Tulsimer, some life gain and removal for smaller creatures. And we have Voracious Hydra, some really good removal for a creature. So, you know, we, we still have interaction. We don't have removal for Planeswalkers. We could definitely struggle with, you know, like Teferi drawing cards every single turn, like Hero Dominaria plus Kaya's Wrath. We're going to struggle with that. Our removal for Planeswalkers is like my haste creature, I guess, my my my, my shifting Ceratops. But um, we're just attacking. So uh, let's see. But that's that's our deck. It looks like it's going to be pretty fun to play. Um, as far like, so I wanted to make us like for how we kind of got here. I wanted to make a Selesnya deck. And, you know, Selesnya was uh, one of the sets that, or was one of the guilds, sorry, featured in Guilds of Ravnica. And the cards for Selesnya in Guilds of Ravnica don't really work too well right now. Like, basically, it was all about the Convoke theme and making a whole bunch of tokens. You know, like, Amara wants you to make a bunch of tokens, so does, like, Flower Flourish. You have Venerated Luxodon. You have uh, March of the Multitudes, which is, you know, one of the most powerful uh Celestia cards tristani you know like cards that just want you to go wide and make a lot of tokens that's where i kind of started you know raise the alarm uh Sapperly migration all that kind of stuff um 
the problem with that kind of deck though right now is everybody is playing Legion's End. Um, everybody is on Legion's End right now. And besides that, other sweepers because of the Field of the Dead decks. There's just lots of sweepers that people are playing for small creatures. And it makes the makes it pretty tough to play a small creature deck. So um, it, so I want, need to find a different different route. And, you know, looking through, like, some rares and mythics to build around, you know, got Oketra, Beast Whisper, and that's how we ended up here. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on making uh, one deck for every single guild throughout these Rotation Proof Mondays. You know, we have our Is It Drakes after this, and we've, we've played a lot of the other guilds in the other ones, too. Oh, I forgot to mention that. So, yeah, if you're, if you're watching this later on YouTube, and if you like these ro Rotation Proof decks, there is a playlist on the channel um where you can see all of the rotation proof decks we've played eight before for each on the previous two mondays and so this is decks nine through 12 today we don't usually get all, a ton of wins with them um because you know we are playing with like half of the format but mono red cavalcade did awesome a couple things about the sideboard devout decree obviously we're playing against red or black aggro like you know it's coming in vampires that kind of stuff gideon is my anti-control card um Luxodon Life Chanter, I'm going to try against aggro also. Maybe we can have like a whole bunch of like zombies in play because of Oketra and gain a lot of life. Maybe. Who knows if that will actually work. But that's my plan there. All right. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and try. We're, so these rotation proof decks, we play them through a league and see how many wins we can get. See if we can get to five wins before two losses. So our deck has some holes, like I said, like Planeswalker Control is going to be tough. But still looks like a really fun deck to play that maybe we can do some crazy stuff with Beast Whisperer and Oketra. Yeah, Selesnia is my favorite guild. Unfortunately, Selesnia is the worst guild in Standard right now, which makes me sad. Green and white are the two worst colors in standard currently. All right, this looks like a good stompy hand. So I could get rid of the Voracious Hydra and just curve Harpooner, Knight, Ferox with no interaction. I think I'm going to do that because without us having more mana, that that Voracious Hydra isn't looking so special. Oh, yeah, that would be really nice if they, if they just go disinformation campaign, get the free null hide Ferox. Cavalcade of Calamity. I mean, I guess it could have kept Harpooner. I, I wanted the blocker here, but I guess I could have kept Harpooner to... To see if they ever play the the one three flyer. I'll save the I'll save the Knight of Autumns for Calamity though. And if if Lana Elves dies by Firebrand, that's fine. Yeah, I love the Mirage Basic Lands. I really hope they put card styles on these. They are beautiful. All right, we have a lot of stuff for this matchup. We got Devout Decrees. We got another Harpooner. We got another Knight of Autumn. And we can also reset our life total with this thing, too. We got a lot of stuff for this matchup. Um, I'm going to take out... I mean, Ceratops can have Reach, though, too, which is kind of cool. Maybe the six drop just isn't worth it how completely aggressive they are, though. But I don't know. We. Yeah, maybe the six drop's not worth it. Mm. Y'all think Null Hides go? I don't know. Null Hide puts some good pressure on them. I'm thinking Growth Chamber Guardian.
But I guess we do need to kind of trim from this area. Maybe Voracious Hydra. Pro I guess Beast Whisper is three toughness. They can lightning strike it pretty easily. Yeah, let's trim let's trim a couple of Beast Whispers. Yeah, that's that's the card we can cut. In fact, I'm gonna cut another I wanna play this life chanter. I just wanna try it. And we should probably play another Ceratops. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Beast Whisper getting lightning striked. Eketra is not too slow. Eketra not too slow at all. Eketra ends games very quickly. Yeah, G Broker, it can be worth it to play constructed events as a free-to-play player. It depends on your your collection, though. If you're like like a brand new collection just starting off, maybe not. But like if you've been playing for a, for a while and you've built up, you know, a, a you know pretty solid deck, you know, a decent deck. Yeah, our opponent has had very bad hands both these times. So they had, you know, just the one lander last time. Um. Another one lander here. Well, Incubation Druid would be better than the Llanowar Elf. Uh, I guess it, it's the exact same now. <laughs> I was going to say where the Firebrand kills the Llanowar Elf. Darn. Alright, just playing this for the Scry. We have 25 lands in the deck. For those of you keeping track at home. All right, well, pretty easy win out of the gates. But that did feel like, like just like the cards that we have in our deck, did seem like that was probably going to be a good matchup for us. Um, so, you know, Mono Red Cavalcade did awesome for us. So, like, if, if Cavalcade is going to be a big player in rotation, in your rotation-proof circles, testing out rotation-proof rotation decks, maybe Green-White's a good counter to the Mono Red. <laughs> Life gains cheating. Attack. I don't think we're going to be very good against the Scape Shift deck, which is what this looks like it is. I, I just don't have anything for Scape Shift. They can go like super wide and with all the zombies and I can't stop it. That's just life. So this is... Doubtful this, that this will be a win. Uh, sorry, Photon. I know my... My laptop will struggle with Arena. And if I change if I change the resolution, like if I change it down to like 720, it gets better than 1080. And sometimes when it's really bad, I'll just put it down to like 540 or even less because I I can I can tell what the cards do. I know what they do. Um, I guess I'm gonna want this as a four five. I miss out on two points of damage to get an extra power. 
on the Hydra. Yeah, rotation is probably a little bit more than a month away, probably about September 23rd, 24th for Arena. As far as I know, there hasn't been an announcement on the official day yet of when Throne of Eldraine is released on Arena. No, I'm not playing around a sweeper. Cause I'm good. I'm gonna be just trying to kill them as fast as we can before like a escape shift messes us up. I mean, I assume this is like a escape shift deck. Well, maybe they could be a sweeper deck, and I will get got. But I'm not playing around that. It's a really nice blast zone though. Hydra cost two, Paradise Druid cost two, Growth Chamber Guardian cost two. What's up, QQ? Yeah, Blast Zone is a really good effect for a land. It certainly is. I could see Blast Zone having a bigger effect um, post sideboard when, or sorry, not sideboard, uh, post rotation when slash if like two color control becomes more of a thing instead of three color control like we have right now because our mana base is so good. Dude really rewarded for playing three colors, so it's hard to fit Blast Zone in. Alright, well we got a game. So we got a game. Still not too confident about games two and three, but we got one. Because, yeah, I'd... I got nothing for Scape Shift. But Scape Shift, of course, that... at least that card's leaving. Standard. But this is the problem with green-white. Like, green and white has nothing, really, for Field of the Dead. Um... Gideon hits harder than Knight of Autumn. We don't really have time for Beast Whisper. So Ceratops can have haste. And we'll get this extra harpooner in here. I don't I don't really know I don't think Veil of Summer is gonna be doing too much for me. We'll get the other harpooner in here for crisis. Impossible. Thanks for the cheers there. Helping us out here. We did get that first game. Let's see if we can get get another one. Mm -hmm. 
Rawr. Throw your paws up. Null hide style. Wish Gideon gave trample. Oh, right. I can't even play Gideon now. Unless I tap the Paradise Druid and everything. Um, want to go double Growth Chamber Guardian or Gideon? Kind of forgot about that, that that whole part of life. Together we can banish evil from this plane. I believe in you. I'm going life link. Who knows, maybe that life will be important. A little surprised by the no block. Could see time, like, are they gonna like time wipe and they wanna bounce the rejuvenator? Fight. So maybe this is time wipe. Well, they probably weren't going to play that first if they their time wipe in. Well, we tried. We gave it our all. I don't know, we tried, kitty. <laughs> they might whiff. <laughs> Fail to find. Oh man, I thought we had more lands in here. We just don't. It's always scry top. It's always scape shift, get a, one scry land, a scry to the top. Ugh. It's always like, yeah, that card's great. I will lend you my strength. Yeah, we need like our Oketra to make a bunch of zombies of our own. Vance's blasting cannons for a for a throwback Thursday. That's a good one. I don't. That's a good one. I'll write that one down.
Hand raise four runners doesn't give your creatures trample, does it? It just like pumps them and gives them haste, right? But it still costs eight. Like we're not usually gonna have eight mana. Not again. It does trample. Okay. Okay, Oketra's serious business. Right on schedule. Blech. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I am pretty. I'm pretty satisfied for how much of a fight we've put up, though, against the deck with Scape Shift and Time Wipe. With our all creature deck. We basically couldn't get a worse. kind of matchup for us. Try this. This is a prime day for justice. Your light will cleave the darkness. So we can either shuffle the Oketra that's going to be in two draws away or not. I'm going to shuffle it away. Oh, I just had another escape shift. Our deck has a couple of holes, and Scape Shift is one of them. <laughs> We've put up a good fight, though. You know, like, we, we got one game, and, I don't know, we did some attacking in the other game. You never know. They could... They could draw really poorly. Ugh. Man, this is so close to being really good. If Blossoming Sands was a better magic card. Like, well, I mean, it had to be Temple Garden. If we had Temple Garden, you know, we could have had turn two Gideon if we had Temple Garden. Settle doesn't even work against. Settle doesn't work against uh, Teferi anyway.
Oh yeah, I would love to have more trample also. There's just not really... It's not really an option, but yes, I would love to have more trample. As well. Oh, can we get a land? We need a land here. Because a land, we would be able to attack with one of our elves being vigilant and then be able to cast with something else. I suppose that's I'm getting that off the battlefield. Instead of casting something else. The best way to give your creatures trample, of course, it, in like that's available is Vivian Arcbow Ranger. At least our Gideon doesn't die to a time wipe. I mean, this game is pretty over. Rejuvenator, Scape Shift, they're cards that are huge problems that will not be in the format. will be rotating out. I'm known for my excellent timing. Our decks aren't perfect, but you see the problem with Selesnya. Selesnya can't deal with Field of the Dead, and that's why it's really hard to play Selesnya right now. I sure do, Melon Fox, yeah. The five color gates that we're going to be playing later on is a viewer submitted rotation proof deck. Why am I not playing Vivian? Because I'm playing... I wanted Beast Whisperer and Nullhide Ferox, and I didn't really want a bunch more fours, and just wanted to maximize the the creature aspect of our deck. It's what our deck is all about. Maximizing God Eternal Oketra and Beast Whisperer. I should probably have the fourth Oketra in here from like how we've been like how these games have been going. We have not really seen Oketra except for that one time late. I do that's that's one thing that I'm kinda of regretting here. I do kind of regret that we don't have a fourth Oketra, because we're just not ever drawing it. That would have been a sick disfigure. Ronus doubles the power but doesn't give trample. I should be playing this Growth Chamber Guardian pre-combat so that if if my opponent would counter it, if they're playing like a counter spell, then I would have been able to attack with the Land War Elf. <laughs> I guess they are just playing a, a counter spell randomly. Alright, so I missed one point of damage there.
No engine cards for us have been found. Come on, Beast Whisperer. We got some pretty big Hydras, though. So that's cool. No, that card's good against Beast Whisperer. I have just the trick for this. So destroying that because they're like if they their plan is play Teferi, tuck my voracious hydra. We're gonna have to kill the Teferi. Because Teferi just draws so many cards. Like we just you have to kill Teferi, and so Knight of Autumn, whether it's four power or two power, kills it, but doesn't let them get those continue get those Othakaya triggers or if they find three mana Teferi to be able to bounce it. But this is now what? exactly the kind of deck. The other kind of deck that I said that is going to be our weakness. We have two two weaknesses. Scape Shift and then Planeswalker Control. We have two weaknesses with our deck. We have a we have a lot better chance, a lot more realistic chance of winning this though than than what we do against Scape Shift. This kind of matchup we could win. Scape Shift we're not beating. Isn't Amulet a safekeeping from M19? Or is that M20? I know. Well, glad Othakaya is out of here. I've got it. Because Othakaya, you know, bouncing that kills the Knight of Autumn and gains him another life. So it, all we need is Azkanta to whiff twice and their draw step to not hit anything. So we just need nine cards for them to draw, like, have, like, no interaction whatsoever in nine cards for a single creature. That's all we need. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Put thoughtfulness before action. Okay. Okay, so far so good. That's more like it. Darn. They found something. Right, this is over. We're just we're getting buried by his Kanta. This is just over. Let's just move on. All right, Gideon, very important. Ceratops, good. Knight of Autumn, honestly, not bad. Gotta destroy those as Kantas somehow. Um, Voracious Hydra. You can hit hard, but not really too interested in, in you there. 
Tulsimer makes two creatures. Maybe one of those. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, they they get to cast the Kaiser at the instant speed, like Cer Ceratops. Doesn't necessarily help there. Hmm. Get him null hide. Certainly hoping no Kai's wrath. Certainly hoping no Kai's Wrath. We are relying on the Knight of Autumn. Or sorry, the Null Hide Ferox. We're relying on the Null Hide Ferox. What's up, Duke? Ooh, that's a that's a great card. Thanks for that reset there, Duke. I appreciate that. There we go. No hide. No hide. <laughs> yeah, Veil of Summer, you know, like they, they spend the two mana to open up my Veil of Summer that wasn't, I wasn't able to cast because the Null Hide before. So thanks for spending that two mana for me. Oh, we need to draw a White Land. We could have turn two Gideon if we draw the White Land. We're so close. There's four things you need for turn two Gideon. You need Temple Garden, Land War Elf, Gideon, and another untapped White Source. So in our deck, we need Basic Planes or Temple Garden. I don't think I just sit back and do nothing. Even though, of course, that is an option. Sorry, I'm late. Life's a lot better when they don't get to just bounce both of Kaya. All right, Veil of Summer doesn't even do anything right now, but it's still probably best to play Gideon. Gideon Jura, at your service. Share in my light. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. Oh no! Curse the darkness. That's bad.
Well, good news is they only have two cards. That's good news. Thanks, Commander Guy. Don't worry. I got this. This time, time Raveler is so obnoxious. Do not want to let them bounce out Kaya, that's for sure. Got to keep them from doing that. They don't have a card in hand. Or, you know, so we're kind of wearing them down a little bit. I'll protect you. If we would have drawn the land, I was going to be playing Tulsimer, not Beast Whisperer. Well, we're in trouble. Trust me, I have a We plan. put up a pretty good fight though. One more land would have been really would have been really nice for us to be able to play the Tulsimer either of these last two turns, be able You're to have to two creatures. So I, I want to have like five mana to be able to go Beast Whisper, Land War Elf to draw a card or play this thing. So I like I guess I'm just going with this. All of these turns, a fifth land would would be nice. You know but what? I'm not um, done yet. just being able to play like one creature a turn against two Teferis is just not going to get there. I don't. I don't play. I don't play uh, modern anymore, so I don't. I don't have any answers about modern. I'll protect you. So, certainly risky letting them have Citadel for more turns.
We need to move quickly. But I also can't really beat the planeswalker, so I have to I have to pressure the planeswalkers also. Let's try this. Well, pretty unfortunate. I was really excited to play this deck. And I still really like it. Um, really unfortunate we didn't get to do anything with Beast Whisper or Oketra. You know, just never... Never untapped with either card. Never got to do anything with them. And just unfortunate we played our two... You know, two of our worst matchups, or maybe our two, wor two possible worst matchups in three matches there with... Planeswalker Control and Scape Shift. Um, you know, I don't have anything for Scape Shift. And, and the Planeswalker Control, we, we have stuff. But getting stuck on lands there, that game three really hurt us. And three mana Teferi just shuts you down, doesn't let you Veil a Summer or anything. But as you saw, like that, that last game, we were just stuck on lands, and that really, really hurt. Um, yeah, I didn't have a Ferox in hand for the Bell Haunt. That would have been nice. Um, but still a pretty, pretty cool deck here. Uh, I think, I, th I think I would want a fourth Oketra. We never got to do Oketra stuff and Oketra is so powerful. And so is Beast Whisper. We just never got to do this stuff. We have some really powerful parts of our deck. Uh, we just had a lot of the other stuff. Knight of Autumn felt really good. Kral, Kral Harpooner did some good work for us as well. Well, there we go. That's that's Lesnia monsters. That's that can happen. You know, sometimes you just have pick up your two losses and you're eliminated. But I th still like the deck. I think it's a pretty cool little deck. Just had two two rough matches there for us. All right. Uh, if you're watching it later on YouTube, though, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And I hope you liked this deck as well. But uh, thanks for watching Selesnia Monsters. Oh, yeah, and of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go to the playlist that has all of the rotation-proof decks over there if you wanted some more ideas of other rotation-proof uh, decks, some other decks to be building towards um, that have things that, you know, have a lot of cards that will not be rotating. Well, you know, all cards, except for Land War Elf, the only card that I make an exception for. But anyway, thank you so much for watching Selesnia Monsters here, and I will see you for the next video.